Okay, guys, welcome. We're going to go ahead and start. Um, I appreciate you guys waking up on a Monday morning and joining me for civics class. <clears throat> for those of you that have not done so, please take a moment to go on to EDSBE to download these two documents that you see here on your screen. One of them is a reading that we're going to do as a class in a moment. The other one is a fillable worksheet that you guys are going to do in breakout rooms. This fillable worksheet is going to be uh, your graded assignment for today. Can somebody tell me when is your assignment due? Friday. Friday at when? Two. No, yeah. 11. Friday at 11 a.m. Okay, it gets submitted here on your end. When you go into your civics class, you're gonna see a button that says submit. That's where you put the document. However, by the end of this class, most of you guys should be finished with it. Should you just go ahead and turn it in now if you finish it? Yes. Yeah, get it out of the way so you don't have to worry about it any longer. What we're gonna be doing, guys, we're, we had a quiz last week, so we're starting a new unit. <clears throat> And I know that uh, a few of you guys are asking me when we're going to learn about other countries. That's what we're doing today. We're going to talk about other types of governments. Um, obviously, in this country, we have a uh, republic. We have a democracy. It's called a representative democracy. We vote for our leaders. There are other ways of organizing a society. That's what we're going to learn about. So all of you guys should have downloaded this document. Robbie, what are you seeing on the screen, buddy? I'm seeing who rules. Someone got to be in charge. All right. And since I have you there, would you mind kicking off the <laughs> reading for us, please? Where it yes. says someone's got to be in charge, right there. If you compare all the governments in the world, you would find one thing in common. Someone is in charge. The question is who? There are many different forms of government some have one leader who has all the control. Others give power to people, to the people. Here are some form of forms of government that exist or have existed in the world. All right, very good. Thank you. Kylie. <clears throat> yeah. Or should I say Scott 8290? Can you okay. read? <laughs> Can you read where it says me, myself, and I, just the first, like this bit? Okay. Okay. An autocracy is a It's pronounced autocracy. Autocracy, sorry. An autocracy is a government in which one person has all the power. There are two main types of autocracy, a monarchy and dictatorship. Can we keep going? Go for okay. it. In a monarchy, a king or queen rules the country. The king or queen is known as a monarch. Monarchs usually come to power through their family line. The current king or queen's oldest child becomes the next king or queen. In some monarchies, especially those in historical times, the monarch held all the power and had the final say over the government. In modern times, monarchies, monarchs, sorry, usually share power with other parts of government. Often they are subject to the country's constitution. All right, very good. So an autocracy, and guys, this is gonna be, a, there's gonna be a lot of vocabulary. Um, the word autocracy just means one person in charge. There are two kinds of autocracies. And Kylie, thank you very much. The, the first one Kylie ran, uh, read for us, which you should be familiar with, a monarchy, which is where you have a king or a queen. This is the um, king and queen of Norway that you're seeing here. Um, the other type of autocracy is a dictatorship. Um, Riley, I see that your hand is raised. Did you have a question or did you want to read? I would like to read. Go for it, kiddo. Right there. All right. A dictatorship is a form of government where one leader has absolute control over its citizens' lives. If there is a constitution, the dictator has control over that too. So it doesn't mean much. Although other parts of the government may exist, such as courts or lawmaking body, these branches always do what the dictator wants them to do. They do not represent citizens. All right, thank you very much, I appreciate it. So again, autocracy is one person rules, 
you have a monarchy where it's a king or a queen. How do a king or a queen get their power? No one? How do you become the next king or queen? Tyler? Anybody can chime in. Okay, um, you become a king or a queen by um, your parents are a king or a queen, and when okay. they die, you become them. So it's lineage, it's like your heritage, right? Yes. So a dictatorship, though, is different. A dictatorship is also one person in charge, but they get control by actually taking over the government, <clears throat> um, usually through military means. So that's really the difference between these two types of government. Uh, we're going to move on where it says power to the people. Can I have a volunteer that will read about what democracy is? Reagan, I see your hand up. All right. Um, so power to the people, right? Yep. Right? All right. In a democracy, citizens hold the political power. There are two basic types of democracies. In a representative democracy, citizens elect leaders to represent their rights and interests in, in, the, in government. The elected leaders or representatives do the day-to-day -day work of governing the country. They, can, they consider the issues, work to find solutions, pass laws, and all of the other things necessary to keep a country going. Citizens hold the ultimate power the, through because it, it, if, they don't, if they don't like what the representatives are doing, they can vote in new ones. Um, Reagan, what country does this sound like? Uh, us? Yeah, this is what we do. We vote for people, and then those people make decisions for us. If we don't like them, we vote for other people. That's what a democracy is. However, there is another type of democracy. Reagan, do you want to read that for us, please? All right. In a direct democracy, there are no representatives. Citizens are directly involved in the day-to-day -day work of governing the country. Citizens might be required to participate in lawmaking or act as judges. For example, the best example for, of this was an ancient Greek city-state called Athens. Most, most modern countries are too large for a direct democracy to work. All right, very good. Thank you, Reagan. I appreciate it. Yep. The word democracy, guys, um, comes from the Greek demos, D-E-M-O-S, which means people. And if you see crossy, it means to rule. So what do you think, can somebody put it together? Not really a hard question. What do you think democracy directly translates to? Um, people rule. Who is that? Sammy. Sammy, what does it mean? People are basically in charge. Yeah, people are in charge, people rule. Thank you, Sammy. Whereas monarchy, mono means one, one person is in charge. You guys kind of follow the difference? Can I read? So this is the rule by one, monarchy or autocracy, rule by the many, democracy. Moving on, um, where it says we, ourselves, and uh, us. Can I read? Yeah, go for it. All right. In an oligarchy yeah a small group of people has all the power oligarchy is a greek word that means rule by few sometimes this means only a certain group has political rights such as members of one political party one social class or one race for example in some social so societies that only noble families who own the land can participate in politics. And oligarchy can also mean that a few people in the country. For example, a junta, junta is small pronounced junta. Junta is a small group of people, usually military officers, who rule after taking control by force. Junta often operates much like a dictatorship, except that several people share the power. All right, good. So an oligarchy is when a small clique or small group of people run a country. It comes from the Greek meaning rule by a few. So again, here's what we're seeing here. Autocracy is ruled by one. Democracy is ruled by the many or the people. 
and oligarchy is ruled by like a small council or group. Um, and there's different types of oligarchies. A uh, junta is just one of them. It's a, a military dictatorship. Um, you also have this thing called a theocracy. Will somebody read what a theocracy is, please? Um, I, I'll do it. Who is that? Nate. Nate, go for it, buddy. All right. A theocracy is a government that recognizes God or a divine being as the ultimate authority. Theo is a Greek word that means God. In a theocracy, religious law is used to settle disputes and rule the people. A theocracy can also be a democracy, dictatorship, monarchy, or just about any other kinds of government. For example, the Republic of Iran recognizes the Islamic law, but Iran citizens vote to elect their leaders. Modern theocracies are usually found in countries where the population is strongly religious. All right, so a theocracy is ruled by a religious group. It would be like if a, a church or a mosque took over the country. Um, so you see this guy over here, his, his title is the Ayatollah. In Iran, they run their country based on religious ideals. If you're running a country mm -hmm. based on your holy book or the culture's religious beliefs, that is what's called a theocracy. Typically, a theocracy is just another type of oligarchy. It's a religious oligarchy. And then lastly, but not least, we have something called anarchy. Can somebody read that for us, please? Can I? Yeah. Okay. In an anarchy, nobody is in control, or everyone is, depending on how you look at it. Sometimes the word anarchy is used to refer to an out-of-control mob. When it comes to government, anarchy would be one way to describe the human state of existence before any governments develop. It would be similar to the way animals live in the wild, with everyone looking out for themselves. Today, people who call themselves anarchists usually believe that people should be allowed to freely associate together without being subject to any nation or government. There are no countries that have anarchy as their form of government. And there you see the symbol for it. Thank you very much. Um, this, guys, is a really good, I'm probably going to, when we do go to test, I'll put this on your study guide. So if nobody is in charge, it's mm -hmm. anarchy. If one person's in charge, it's either a monarchy or a dictatorship. That depends on how they took power. What's the word that means one person rules? It starts with an A. Does anybody remember? Is it auto or autocracy? Autocracy. Very good, Jason. Thank you. Um, rule by the few or a small clique of people is called an oligarchy. And then rule by the people or the many is called democracy. And there's two types, direct and representative. What type of government do we have out of all of these that are on this list? Democracy. Representative democracy. This one right here. Although, do we do some direct democracy in this country? Would we let citizens vote on laws? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's how we changed the Florida Constitution. Now, if you remember before we went to spring break, we talked about that a little bit. It's called a referendum, where they just say, hey, citizens of Florida, do you like this law? And we vote on it. When we do things like that, we're practicing direct democracy. But by and large, we are a representative democracy. There's a question. Oh, Casey, yeah. You have a question? Uh, yeah. Did you know that they're trying to make school in Florida like year round? That's been an idea that had been kicked around for a while. It's not anything new. You should kick um, it off of the cliff. I just heard about it. Yeah, well, we should the, kick the that idea, idea out. The idea would be that um, out. Out. The, the thinking behind it is that you guys forget everything over summer break. So instead of having a summer break, you would just have little two-week vacations here and there spread out throughout the year. Um, no, I don't really know how I feel about it. I kind of like summer vacation. but I mean, I forget everything in a new grade. Like when I learn something new, I just push old information out, except well, yeah, for my name, my parents, that's, and where and I was Bobby, born. That's part of the, that's, we're a little off topic here, but that's, that's kind of the argument for it is that when you have that big gap of time, two months in July or June and July, you forget everything. So the idea is instead of having that big giant gap, let's get the kids back in school sooner so you remember the previous information. 
they're not. But, um, if they did do something like that, and I, Casey, I think where you were going with this was like a direct democracy thing, like letting citizens decide, it would probably be something the representatives would decide if they did in fact decide to do that. Um, there is a question here. Where would you put theocracy on this? Again, theocracy is when you have religious rule. Where would it be on here? Riley, I see your hand up. It would be in the few section with oligarchy. Yeah, you would put another thing. It'd be right here. Because okay. it's like it a religious oligarchy. Yeah, you would have like a council it? of uh, bishops or a council of um, religious scholars or a council of uh, preachers or, or whatever that okay. would be running the country. Um, all right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put you guys in breakout rooms in a moment, and you guys are going to do your assignment, which is this thing. Do you guys all see the crossword puzzle thingy? Or this, actually? Yes. Yeah, yes. Do. Let's just do one together sure so we understand how to do this. And guys, your job is to complete this and just get it uploaded today so you don't have to worry about it. So, okay. can you read the instructions for part A for us? Identify that government. Identify the form of government that each country has or had. All right, so what you do on here is you're going to type directly in here. So if this country had a government, that's what you would put. That's my favorite type. Um, Dylan, can you read what Switzerland has? Sure. Switzerland uh, citizens elect representatives who sit in two different lawmaking assemblies. <laughs> The citizens also vote several times a year to decide on laws. Citizens can vote to propose their own laws or new laws passed by their representatives. All citizens may vote directly on these laws. So they have two types of government. Does anybody know what two types of government are practiced in Switzerland? It's very similar yes. to what we do here. What do you think? The direct democracy. Okay, they, they definitely have a direct democracy because it says that citizens can vote to propose their own laws and even undo laws. What else do they have? Here's a hint. A storm. Monarchy. If it says, it says representative, representative, representative democracy. democracy. Adam, I see you spamming the, um, the raising hand thing. It's a, it's a um, representative democracy. Very good. A representative democracy. You can just put, because it's not going to fit, just put rep democracy. Or another word for representative democracy, guys. Have you heard that word before? A republic. Yeah, it's the same thing. So either one of those would work, representative democracy or republic. Isn't okay. it like Roman? Yeah. All right, so you see there's North Korea, Saudi Arabia, South Africa. So what you do? is you read through and you look at the, basically you're matching the definitions. Any questions about what to do on part A? Pretty simple, right? Let's do part B where it says who rules, true or false? Use what you learned in the reading to fill out the chart. So what you're gonna do is you read the statement, you tell me if it's true or false, and then you tell me why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do number one together. Adam, since you are not muted, can you read number one for us? A monarchy or it can be part of democracy. A monarchy can be like a dictatorship or it can be a part of democracy. Is that true or false? True. It is true. Are there good yes. are there good monarchies where they listen to the people and have a constitution? Yes. Yeah, that's what the United yeah. Kingdom is. Or can you have an, a, a bad king that acts like a dictator? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so you would then just whatever your reason is, you would type it there. So I would say hicka, true, hicka, hicka. Uh, because Lar. whatever, okay? Yeah. You guys understand this part? Yeah. Yes. And then the last part is vocabulary. Just like in class, we'll do one together to start off with to get you guys going. Let's do this big giant one that's three o'clock across. It says type of democracy where citizens elect leaders to represent them in government. Sure it's representative. That's a representative, and I think unfortunately you have to type everything. Oh second. no! <laughs> or you can do tab on the ones that go from side to side. Yeah. Rep. Re. Set. No. 
In Mr. Mellon, on the reading, it says the theocracy can be anywhere. Can be a what? It said, yeah, it said a theocracy can also be a democracy, a dictatorship, monarchy, or just about any other kind they're, of government. They're typically oligarchies, but yeah. Monkey. So you see a lot of these kind of like Monkey. blend together. Okay. All this is is a bunch of vocab. We need to learn what these words mean to be able to do the next activities that we're going to do. Yeah. Any questions about what is being asked of you guys? No. 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 Right. I am going to put you guys into breakout rooms. Breakout yes. room, guys, is your chance to work together to get your work done and get it submitted so that you're done. Does that make sense? No. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead and uh, open up the breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. um, so please go in for mm -hmm. those that joined late. I will talk to you in a moment. Ali, Emma, Nate, Jordan, are you guys there? Can you all unmute yourselves, please? Yes. 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 Yeah? Jordan. How rude. Jeff. Are you guys there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, just so you know, I, I start at 905 sharp. Okay. Um, so since you guys are here on the main page, the four of you, this is your breakout room. So Jeff, Emma, Nate, Jordan, you guys can help each other with the work. All right. Does that work out for you guys? Fine by me. Fine by you. All right, I'll come check on you in a minute. Representatives in, uh, sit in law, law making body. All right. Oligarchy hmm. and oligarchy. All right. Hold for a minute. Right. Ow. Oh, my thing, South Africa. Yes. To 1994, official policy policy in South Africa gave white people all the political power, even though the majority of South Africans were black, non-whites could not influence government. So what does that mean when a small group, in this case, white people in South Africa, ran the government? What type of government means rule by a small few? Oligarchy. Oligarchy. So your first one on that for South Africa would be oligarchy. But then it also says white South Africans also elected representatives. So what would that be? Um, representative. Democracy. Representative democracy. Good. I'll come check on you guys in a few. Keep, keep at it. My mic was muted. I think it would be an oligarchy. I don't know how to pronounce it, but since it's like a small group of people leading, since I think white people in South Africa make up only 10 or 2% of the population, I don't know. So it's a small group of people leading. You're right. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> so you're doing South Africa? Yes. Yeah, so it would be oligarchy, you're right, for the first one. And what do you think the other type of government that they? <clears throat> I mean, it could be somewhat of a democracy since the well, citizens that. Look at the last sentence. They elect representatives. So, what does that mean, Abby, if they elect representatives? Representative democracy. There you go. Good. All right, keep at it. I'll come check on you guys in a little bit. Representative democracy, but like, what's the other one? Uh, North Korea is dictatorship, but I don't know what the last one is. Right. It's just Ooh. dictatorship. Mr. Mellum, did you what's hear that? about Kim Jong-un? I don't 
What about him disappearing? Isn't he like a no? No, he just. Yeah, I think he died. No, he didn't. He he resurfaced a few days ago. Okay. He's a submarine. Hmm. He resurfaced. It was a joke. Mm-hmm. Apparently, a really bad one. We all knew. We all knew that he was a submarine. He was. I, I'm guessing he was probably just um, secluding himself away because of the COVID nineteen. Yeah, I would be scared as well. But if you have a country that nobody goes in or out except for you and some special people, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be too fearful of it. Well, people do cross the border with China to trade goods illegally, but they do it. So, yeah, there you go. But anyways, so you guys are doing okay. You're on the Saudi Arabia one. Uh, yeah. I, okay. I don't remember having. Africa. It doesn't yeah, matter. You, you, you guys can go down or left to right. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Just pick one and go with it. Okay. Look, South South Africa. Africa. Let's do South Africa together. We, uh, we have representative and we don't know what the other one is. Yeah. Or South Africa? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It says from 1948 to 1994, <clears throat> Official policy in South Africa gave white people all the political power, even though the majority of South Africans were black. So a small group had all the power. Oligarchy. Oligarchy. Oh, oligarchy. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Like and uh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Miss Kara taught us a lot of these things last year, and okay. she said that you would kind of be happy that we did learn it because we wouldn't be like struggling with this subject or something. I would hope so. <laughs> so I definitely do appreciate it. So you've heard a lot of these words before. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to um, do a little bit more with it and go a little more in depth, but that's good that you know it. Yes. Uh, well, Saudi Arabia. Right, well, out on the back for Miss Karen. All right. I'm going to mm-hmm. hop out of here. If you guys okay. seem like you're okay, I'm going to check on the other groups. Uh- How are we doing, guys? I see Peyton and Clay both muted. Nobody's talking. Olivia? And Clay left. Peyton, are you there? Peyton? Olivia? Yeah. Okay. So you and Wyatt, your job is to work on this. So let's do one together. Where are we at? Uh, I, I kind of skipped the first part. I'm working on the B because I kind of- let's, little... let's go back up to part A. Can we all do that? Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm at part A. All right, Olivia, are you there? Yeah. Okay, can you read the description of South Africa? From 1948 through 1994, official policy in South Africa gave white people all the political power. Even though the majority of South Africans were black, non-whites could not influence government. White South Africans elected representatives to sit in a lawmaking body. Okay, so what types of government do you think they have here if a small group, in this case white people, ran the government? What is it, what, what type of a government is it when a, a small group runs it? Oligarchy. That is an oligarchy, good. Olivia, what other type of government do they have? Um, they wouldn't be a... Mm, what is it? Look at the last sentence. Oh, um. Lawmaking bodies. It says white South Africans elected representatives to sit in a lawmaking body. Is it called a lawmaking body or is, is it um, like anarchy? No, a lawmaking body would be like a Congress where you elect people. Oh, right. So what type of government is it when people elect others 
to speak on their behalf? Uh, well, would it be a, a democracy because like they're voting? What type of democracy? There's two types. Um, oh, wait, um, there's direct and there's representative. Representative. There you go. So your two answers for that one would be representative democracy and oligarchy. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Yep. Symptoms. Fever, tiredness, dry cough. Oh, shoot. Hear me. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where um, are we? Jordan, you got to unmute yourself, buddy. Jordan, you have to unmute yourself and participate. All right, so where are we at, guys? I'm um, make sure we're false. You're on the true false. Do you need any help with any of them? So you, you guys did part A without any problems? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so which number on the true false are you on? I'm on three. Well, I, I tried to finish all the true false questions and then I was going to go to the. Oh, reasons. and then you're coming back in and doing the reasons? Yeah. Okay. Um, Emma, where are we at? For what? The true or false? What number are you on? On four. Okay, do you need help? No. All right. I will, I'm going to bounce around, guys. Talk to each other. That's the whole point of this. Okay. All right. I don't know if they can include representative democracies. How are we doing, guys? We're doing um, good. Do you need any help with any of them? Do we, Justin? Um, we could ask him about the um, South Africa one. Just like kind of make sure. Okay. What did you guys think about the South Africa one? Um, we got um, representative government and, I mean, democracy and direct democracy. Okay, so if representative democracy is true. Um, however, the other one, let's go and look at what it says, all right? Can you guys do that real quick? Yeah. All right, it says South Africa from 1948 to 1994, Official policy in South Africa gave white people all the political power. So white people ruled the country, even though the majority was black. So you had rule by a smaller group. So what is an oligarchy? Of, that's an oligarchy. There you go. We just thought because like oligarchy is small. We didn't know that like there'd be like that like little bit of white people. Well, their whites were like 10 to 12 percent of the population. But in, in South Africa, they were the only ones allowed to hold elected office. Oh, okay. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. All right, were there any other ones that you guys were stuck on? No. No? No. Okay. I will come check on you guys in a little bit. We're going to be maybe like five or ten more minutes, and then we're going to shut it down, okay? All right. I didn't realize there was only two of you guys in here. Yeah. You doing okay? Yeah. What number are you guys on? I'm on the crossword right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on the crossword. Did you need help with any of them? Uh, number seven. That's the only one that I'm kind of stuck oh, on. Oh, uh, number seven is Junta. Okay, thank you. Junta. Oh. J-U-N-T-A. 
uh, junta. Guys, we're gonna work for about five more minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. Okay? okay. Cool. All right. How are we doing, guys? I don't know about everybody else, but... Um, hey, guys, I why are we all muted? Dylan, Josh. We're fine. Why, are, why were you guys muted? I was going to grab something to eat. Oh, okay. Josh? I was There's unmuted. I, I was like, um, we should do um, part um, A. Dylan read it, and everyone just went quiet. All right, guys, part of the reason that I do these is so you guys can work together, okay? This doesn't work if you're not all participating. Got it? Yeah. Okay, so where are we at? All right. I'm at the crosswords puzzles. All right, let's all go to the crossword puzzle. What number are you on? Um, I am at um, five. Number five down, okay. Mm -hmm. Josh. A small group of people has all the power. Five down. What would that be? Uh, I remember it was, you said it was like. The Look at, go back in the reading. I just can't remember. Which one means, go to the reading, Josh, and look at the very last thing in the reading on page two where it has that little chart and it says rule by a few. Could I answer? I want Josh to answer. Rule by Rule by a few. It starts with an O. Oligarchy? Oligarchy, good. The first thing that comes to my mind when I hear that word is an ogre. Ogre? Oh, I yes. see. I, see. I, I, I totally understand that. <laughs> yes. It's rule just rule like... by ogre. All right, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, we'll, that's we'll related. we in like three or four minutes, okay, guys? How are we doing? Good, good. Do you need help with any of them? Or did um, you suck at all? I forgot what happened to the oligarchy. You forgot what happened to it? No, like who rules in an oligarchy? Oh, it's a, a small group. So it'd be like a council of leaders or something like that. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm gonna let you guys work for five, ten more minutes, and then we're gonna close it up. Okay. Gotcha. Did, did you need any other help on any of them? Mm, uh, I need a little help with seven. On what? On the crossword? Uh, no, on true or false. Just okay. Like seven says theocracy can coexist with democracy. Um, mm -hmm. I would say that's false. False. Okay. And then the example, well, democracy is ruled by who? Or what? Uh, theocracy. Uh, priests and stuff. Okay, that's theocracy. What is democracy? Oh, uh, ruled by, like, the people. Yeah. So what if you are one of the people, but you don't have the same religion as the people running the theocracy? Can you coexist? No. Probably not, because the laws that they pass, are they going to conflict with your beliefs? Yeah. That would be the example or reason. Okay, thank Makes you. Sense? Mm -hmm. All right, girls. If you're looking at your um, the reading from today, I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom and look at that who rules false. image. I think it's false. Okay. Go ahead and mark that, and I want you to write why you believe that. You doing okay, Tori? Yes. Okay. Well, um, we'll probably run it to about 9.55 and then. Okay, right. sounds good. Um, representatives are a group of people. What is a king or queen? What's number eight? When a king or queen? Number eight. Starts with an M. Monarchy. Monarchy. There you go. That's right. Let's go. Yeah. I did so good on the crossword puzzle, Mr. Mellon. 
<laughs> yeah, I was the first one that had uh, the CR. Bro, Eli was just... I got Democracy, Direct, I got Junta, I got Autocracy. Honestly, Eli, you did all the work, bro. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so you guys were able to get through it pretty easily? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I did, I did some Whenever work. you guys feel like you're finished, I mean, you can upload it and you're done. Um, oh, okay. I'm going to leave I'm, I'm open just, until yeah. 9.55, so another seven or eight minutes, and then we'll, we'll shut it down. All right. All right, cool. Thanks, Mr. Okay. Mayor. You're welcome. Enjoy your afternoon. You too. You too. How are we doing, guys? Good. We're finished. Good. We're finished. finished? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. All right. You guys can upload your assignment. I would just do that now. Do any of you need help doing that? Uh, no, I know how to do no, I know how to do it, it at least. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you guys are finished, you are you're free to go. Um, I'm gonna leave the rooms open until 9:55 to work on stuff. So, all right. All right, all right guys. Have a good afternoon. Yeah. If I don't talk to you again. Yep. Thank you. How are we doing? We're doing good. We're at the crossword puzzle. You're at the crossroads. Yeah. Yeah. You need any help with any of them? Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? We just started, so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna uh, I do leave. have a question. Yeah, go right ahead. So I know that you can fill the answers out in the PDF, but I printed out the thing and then just wrote the answers down. Is that all right, too? Um, how are you going to submit it? So in the submit thing for Edsby, there is an option to like just take a picture of your paper form of work. Yeah, that's that's fine. Just do me a favor and make sure it's a nice, clear picture. Because I've had kids submit things to me and I, I couldn't read it. Um, All right. That's perfectly fine. Just when you take your picture, so you have your, your phone or whatever, just make sure it's a, a nice, clean picture that I can read easily. All right. All right? Yeah, but that'd be fine. All right. I'm going to leave the room open until 9.55, and then we're going to shut it down. So that's another five or six minutes that you girls can work on it. All right. All right. Abby, is that cool with you? Yeah. How, how's your noggin doing? Um, it's okay. Any better? Not really. Not really? Oh, that's, that's too bad. Yeah. All right. If I don't talk to you guys again, have a good afternoon. You too. Good afternoon, Mr. Mellon. You too, Riley. Or, What's the let's just see, dictatorship. None of those are right there and dictatorship right here in democracy oh, or in wait, monarchy. Um, number eight is monarchy. Ooh. See? Told you. We were talking about number nine, not number eight. I know, but we thought number nine was monarchy. It's number eight. Because it says hey, Robbie. Eight, a king or queen. Yeah, he's yes. Yeah, Jensen's right for number eight. That is monarchy. Can you go to the reading? What's number nine? So one yes. person. So dictatorship and monarchy are when one person has all the power. But scroll yes. up on that. Oh, is it a? Uh, uh, I'll, Keep going. It's that first word. Autocracy. Autocracy. Okay. So the category is autocracy, and then types would be monarchy and dictatorship. So it's odd. Okay. It's, it's autocracy. Auto Melina, are you participating, kiddo? She was. <laughs> she just unmuted herself when I said something. How are you doing, Melina? People are not so good Um, pretty good. Yeah. You? How'd you spell not too bad. People oh. are not subject to any nation or yeah anarchy. Looks like you guys have it. Um, I'm gonna leave the room up until nine fifty-five, and then we're gonna shut it down. Okay. I have a question okay. though. Yeah. Um. So, in the who rules thing, number mm -hmm. two, uh, like a dictatorship can also be a democracy. Can you we scroll up? Of... Oh, you mean this one right here? Or, Robbie, can you go back to the work? Yes. Number two, a dictatorship can also be a democracy. I would say that's yeah. false. Robbie has dictatorship, no. is, dictatorship is rule by one where one person takes control by force. Democracy mm -hmm. is ruled by the many, where the people rule by 
voting and uh, compromising with each other. Okay. Well, yeah, so by, by, by definition, they can't be the same thing because dictatorship is ruled by one, democracy is ruled by the many. Oh, uh, Mr. Mullen? Yeah. What about monarchy? About okay, one at a time. What was that, Jensen, what were you asking me? Uh, what is number seven? On the uh, true false? Uh, no. Yeah, oh, it can't be crack. oligarchy. A small group that rules a country, a junta, J U Oh, a junta. A junta. J U N. -A. Ah, that makes more sense. And then okay. five down, a small group of people that has all the power. That's, you know, oligarchy. Oligarchy. There you go. Oligarchy. What time is it? All right. I'm going to go ahead and tell everybody to go home. All right, guys. So, we are um, home. Yeah. We all are home at oh, right now. Boom. Now we finished. Probably I'm not. No. You work for people who usually take force by the military. Good? Yep. Hola, senor. Oh, hi. There's a lot of people now. Oh, my. Mr. Mel on mute. Hola. Mr. Mel on muted, man. All right, guys. I hope uh, everything went okay. Um, again, this assignment is due by uh, Friday at 11 a.m. I would say just get it uploaded like right now so you're done. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask or hang back. If not, you guys are dismissed. See you, Mr. Mellon. All right, have a good one.